Hi guys, it's me, Vacuum Smith here, and today I have a video on my brand new Stinger Shop back. Um, so yeah, I just unboxed it. I didn't catch it on camera because when I very first saw this thing, I was a little bit disappointed. Now, I'm not disappointed anymore, but I was at first because I was like, that does not look like what we or ordered. So yeah, this is the second type, but this is actually the more expensive version. This one is 50 bucks, and we got it for less money. So here we have the Stinger uh, 2.5. And now for the best part, the inside, which, well, it looks like a shop back in there. It's got a nice blue filter. I don't know, I like shop when they have blue filters. Here's the container. <laughs> So dirt comes through here, up through this very smooth piece of plastic, which it'll only stay smooth this one time. And evidently, I must have sucked up some stuff. And then you have this blue filter. We'll pull that off. And then we have the inside. Here's our float. And this is a VF2000 filter. Remove filter for wet. I could have sworn that one of these filters said for wet and dry pickup, but this one just says for wet pickup. If you suck up water with this, I've seen these filters get like pale and really weird looking. And then you, the greasiest rubber band I've ever felt in my life. Um, to put the filter on, all you gotta do, yeah, I know I'm making this long. We can slide it over here. It does not have a foam filter, which is weird. I don't know why, but it doesn't. On there. All right. Let's get it on the, all the way. This filter comes off kind of easily, especially since it's held on with this weird rubber band. All right. Alright, I got it on there. And then to put it back on, because when I was watching videos of Stinger Shop Facts, I had no idea how this clip design worked. It's it just, it's spring-loaded. It's not really spring-loaded, but it just bends this plastic. It's actually very easy to use. It's just much like my other shop vac. There we go. Let's give it a shot. Try this thing out. I already have tried it out, so I know what it sounds like, but you guys have it. Alright, let's turn it on, and I'll show you guys it running and vacuuming. I will be... I will be honest with you, when I very first heard one of these Stinger Shop Vacs run on YouTube, I was like, that thing's gotta have the weakest suction in the world, because listen to it.
Sparky, you make such a bad mess. We're about to find out, is it cat approved? Oh, it is cat approved. Look at that. Does that feel good, buddy? I have an attachment that works really well on you, but I don't know where it is. All right, let's see what it got. Oh, got some stuff. We ain't done yet. Don't worry. It's a shop vac. Now, I did see someone else do this um, before with a Stinger shop vac, and they didn't use the filter and almost ruined the motor in the video. But I am sensible, and I'm going to use... Oh, my gosh. I just did all that. I'm going to use the filter. Let's see if we can get it clogged. Hopefully not, because using a shop vac, it, you know, it can always unclog itself with a blower, but then you got a dust bunny projectile. Come on now, get out of there. Here we go. Quite a bit. I bet you eat it packed full. See how packed full it really is. No, the filter is just clogged. It ain't empty though. It needs to be betterly really cleaned, but this is good enough.
This is one capable little shop vac. Wait a minute, it lost the plug. What? What happened? If I did this with my other 2.5 gallon shop back, it would have just laid down and quit. This thing keeps on going. And it's so clogged, it's barely got any suction left. Ah, uh, it's clogged now. Ah, oh, crap. Here's the incredible part, it's still got some suction left. Shopback's clog up right away. And that still had suction. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at that. Now that right there is taking up the area of container right